I had read an online article that stated the most popular month to get married is the month of June, the current month right now. And think about that for a minute, guys. Uh, let's ponder the social implications as to why people would want to get married in the month of June compared to the rest of the year. Well, the only thing I can assume is that people want light and bright, warm weddings. They don't want gray, you know, dreary, rainy, you know, autumn weddings. So, you know, the stigma is that if you get married uh, during a summer month, it's going to be a lot better wedding. But that's just my opinion on the matter, and I thought that would be perfect uh, subject matter for today's movie review. We're going to be checking out the Mario Bava cult classic, Hatchet for the Honeymoon. This is a movie that I've never seen before. I'm familiar with Bava's work. You know, I love Black Sunday. I love the movie Shock. But this one has somehow escaped my radar over the years. It's prolific. I've heard of it. And I know a lot of people either love it or hate it. That's usually how movies go. So let's get on with this lightning quick movie review. I'm going to go ahead and check out the flick. You guys get the trailer. And then when we come back, we're going to be discussing Baba's Hatchet for the Honeymoon a little bit. Some sort of, you know, Hollywood B 
version of Clint Eastwood. It's very avant-garde, very psychedelic. There's a lot of camera distortions, loud music. There were certain elements to it that were kind of vague, uh, left up to the audience's interpretation. And sometimes that could be a good thing, sometimes that could be a bad thing. So if I had to give Hatchet for the Honeymoon a star count, I could give it a solid 6 out of 10.